Spider. My name is Colonel Frank H. W. Miller, and I am most thankful for addressing you today. What a beautiful day it is today. I am wearing my normal summer attire. I am looking forward to showing you some of the beautiful sights of this rather lovely borough. I need your help though today, please. As you know, sometimes my wife, Mrs. Miller, doesn't agree with my fashion choices. Please, could you help me by telling me if the fine attire I am wearing today is appropriate for the locations I find myself in? Thank you. restaurant here. I wonder, dressed in this apparel, would I be made welcome to eat a meal and drink some fine sherry, or would I be asked to leave? What do you think? local church. I wonder, because of the way I'm dressed, would the minister and congregation be glad when I arrived here like this, or would they be more pleased when I left? What do you think? Come see my dear friends of many years, Dr. and Mrs. Smythe. I'm sure I'll be welcome in their garden on a beautiful sunny day like today. Let's knock on their door and find out. Good morning, Colonel. And how are you, Dr. and Mrs. Smythe? Have you got time for a leisurely drink and maybe a nutter in your garden? We're okay, thank you, but you must know that we prefer people to be properly dressed when they come here. What are the neighbours going to say? and in my local municipal park. Am I at last dressed appropriately now? I think I fit in remarkably well in this situation. I wouldn't be out of place here. The Bible talks very plainly about what we should wear in our character and what we shouldn't wear. Which fruit of the Spirit do you clearly show in your life? Which needs to develop further and what are you actively doing about that? What I wear spiritually needs to be appropriate for living on earth. Jesus doesn't ask us to fit in with those around us. He commands us to be salt and light, not to stand out in a peculiar or odd manner, but to the, be the people of God that he has called us to be. In Ephesians chapter 4, the Apostle Paul challenges us to put off our old self, and put on our new self. What are you doing about that at the moment? You may have heard that the Bible encourages us to remember what Jesus said and then to do it. We are to take up his cross, to wear Jesus' yoke, to put on the full armour of God and wear the garments of salvation and so many more things. Let's do that. These things are a real blessing to us. However, we have to choose to put them on. We have to choose to follow God every day. We have to choose to pray, listening to God every day. What a delight if we do. What a joy it is to know that God loves us 
and wants a personal relationship with all of us. I hope to discuss some more important topics with you in the future, but in the meantime, open your life to God and ask him to speak to you. Put God first, seek God above everything else, make him the top priority in your life. Stay safe everyone and cheerio.